Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to transfer the files between your PC and phone using just the ADB commands. So let's get started. First and foremost, you'll have to get hold of Android FZK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these are the files of platform tools. Once you've done the extraction, you will now have to enable USB debugging on your phone. So go to the settings menu on your phone. From there, go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. In case of Xiaomi, it will be MIUI version. So tap on it seven times and you will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Now go back, then go to system and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt, tap on OK. If this is the first time you are enabling USB debugging, you will get an RC key prompt as well. In that case, tap on OK and allow as well. And with this debugging is enabled, let's verify the same. So go to platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and re replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that you're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, let's now move ahead and let me now show you the steps to get this job done. So I have all the useful ADB commands, but as of now, we'll focus on doing a transfer. So first of all, I'll show you how to pull any file. So in this method, we will be doing a transfer from our phone to your PC because we are doing a ADB pull from your phone to the PC. So let me show you how this could be done. So this is the syntax ADB pull is the keyword space forward slash then the file location on device and then the file name. So in this regard, let's say we want to transfer a file from our phone. The name of the file is, let me show you once, this is a file manager app. So let's say I want to transfer the test2.zip. As you can see, this is the app. So I'll have to transfer this app onto my PC. So the command will be as follows. Let me show you as of now, the file is inside the internal storage, which is also known as SD card. So if we use this command, let me use it. So the file location will be simply SD card and the file name will be test to dot zip and hit enter and the files will be transferred to the platform to folder on your PC. So keep a note on this folder. I'll show you. So as you will see now, the file will now be transferred just a minute. And as you could see, we have got the test to zip file on our PC. And with this, the transfer is now complete. Do know that it's a copy paste and it's not cut paste. So you will still have the file on your phone as well. So with this, we have got the test to zip file from our phone to our PC. And now I'll show you how to do a transfer from your PC over to your phone. So in other words, we'll be doing a ADB push. In this, we will be doing an ADB push from your PC over to your phone. So for that, the syntax is ADB push file name and the location where you want to file to be sent. So let's suppose the file that we want to send. First and foremost, you will have to keep that file in the platform to folder on your PC. So this is the file test1.img. I'll be transferring this file onto my phone. So I've kept this file here in the platform to folder. And now let's transfer this file onto our phone. So this is the syntax. Let me copy the syntax from here and then paste the syntax. This is the syntax. So the first of all, we'll have to type in the file name, which in my case is the test1.img, then space forward slash, and the location where you want to transfer the file. In my case, I want to transfer the file to the internal storage, which is the SD card. So keep a note over here, you will see the file being transferred. Now type in SD card and hit enter. And the file should now be transferred in a few seconds when that is done. As you could see, we have got the test1.img file. So with this, we have done a transfer from our phone to the PC, likewise from our, our PC to our phone as well. Let me now show you how to transfer a file inside any folder of your choice. Then the command will be same, just type in that entire directory. Okay, let me show you that as well. So let's say for instance, we want to push the file to our folder on our phone. So let's say we want to transfer the file test1.img inside the downloads folder or let me make one more folder over here. So let me name it as test. So we want to transfer the file inside the SD card downloads test folder. So in that case, the command will be as follows. So we are doing an ADB push from our PC to our phone. So type in ADB push space file name, which in our case 
is test one dot img, then space forward slash SD card is internal storage, then download, then test, and hit enter, and you will now see the file being transferred in inside our phone. As you could see, the file has been transferred to the test folder inside our phone. Likewise, if you want to transfer a file from inside any folder onto your PC, then let me show you how to do the ADB pull of that as well. So the ADB pull is as follows. The syntax of ADB pull, as you might be aware, is this. So first off, let's change the file location on device, which in our case is SD card, then space SD card forward slash download again forward slash test folder and the file name is so give a forward slash and the file name is test one dot img if you have any existing file let me remove that file first so let me remove it and as you could see the file will now be transferred from the downloads and test folder onto our from here it will be transferred onto your pc so and hit enter and as you could see the file has been transferred from the test folder inside onto the platform folder so you have to keep a couple of things in mind first off when you use the adb pull to do a transfer from your phone to the pc then the file will always be transferred inside the platform folder on your pc likewise if you want to do an adb push and do a transfer from your pc over to your phone then you will have to keep that file inside the platform folder as well apart from that it's highly recommended that there should not be any space between the file name or there might be a few issues while doing a transfer so keep this point in mind and you should not face any issues so guys apart from that there is one more thing to keep in mind so there also exists an adb sideload method but the sideload will not transfer the file instead it will directly flash the file onto your phone so please don't use this method this method usually comes in handy if you are in a custom recovery and from the custom recovery you will have to flash a file for instance if you are in lineage os recovery or paranoid android recovery in any aosp recovery there is no install option so in that case you must do an adb sideload to flash the magic zip file or any other zip file but the adb sideload is always used to flash the file directly it will not simply do a transfer but it will automatically flash the file as well that is why you should not use this until and unless you are planning to flash a file moreover the adb sideload only works for the zip file it is only used for flashing and it will automatically flash the file but for that you will have to boot your phone to the a custom recovery as well so for doing a transfer don't use the adb sideload only use the adb push or the adb pull but if you want to use the sideload and you are currently in the custom recovery then you could use my guide to get this job done as well but if you are want to simply do a, a normal file transfer then the adb push and pull will get the job done but if you still have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching